Hi, it's Jess here from Nigeza.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. So I'm making quick Christmas tags today. So I'm just there picking out my greeting and I've got a piece of A4 white cardstock and I am using my ruler and my grid mat to show where each two inches is along the um, piece of card so that I know where to stamp my greeting because I'm going to make um, two tags per two inch. Um, so this is standard piece of cardstock on its side in landscape. Um, so for the UK, we'll have uh, 12, but in the US, because your cardstock's only 11 inches long, you'll only have like a half an inch at the end. So I'm just taking some snowflakes there and um, I'm going to stamp in pool party around my greeting. And um, so I'm just going to stamp it around both sets of greetings um, and um, leaving a sort of a gap at what will be the top of the tag. Um, so, yes, just I like this stamp because it's different sizes of snowflakes. And um, I think they, uh, they're not too big for a Christmas tag. It's not the smallest one in snowflake season, uh, snowman season. It's the next one up. I um I thought the smallest one, although it would work, it'd be a bit longer doing this, and I just wanted some quick tags. So just filling in the little gaps there, and now I'm going to uh, trim down every two inches. I say with us having eleven and three quarters, the last one will be one and three quarters wide, which is still wide enough for a tag, so we'll get. 12 but if your cardstock's eight and a half by 11 you'll only have half an inch so you probably won't use that so i'm cutting there at four and an eighth if you're using american sizes yours would be four and a quarter still you know both sizes are good size tags and here i am using the delightful tag topper punch any of our tag topper punches will work with this um they are they work with two inch wide Strips of paper, uh, cardstock. This is basic white, ordinary, not the extra thick. And um, I think they make uh, decent enough um, tags um, and, um, and really quick. And, uh, and you've got a hole where you can add your little bit of ribbon or twine or, or whatever it is that you use to tie on your tags. You may not use anything at all. Um, so there they are, I can get rid of all that rubbish. And um, and there we have 12 tags. And actually I could leave them like that, you know, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a topper and I'm gonna use the penguin uh, from Penguin Place. So I need to stamp 12 of them. So I'm stamping them on top of each other in a row um, because it's a penguin builder punch and um, I don't want to, um, cut out all the other gubbins so stamping them all in a row and then I can uh, chop up the cardstock into strips and feed it into the punch that way so now I'm going to add the feet and his beak so and I just discovered there despite having this stamp set for a, probably five months that um, we have a stamp set that one of the stamps has two feet together. I was always doing the one twice. So that even quicker. So I'm using pumpkin pie there to stamp the little feet. And by stamping the feet there, keeping it inside the penguin line, uh, it will punch out. So uh, that's good. So now we're just adding the nose there. I add it to the end of the peak. I think that looks the cutest but you could add it lower if you wanted to and then I just thought f I would add a little bow tie uh, so that it matches the um, the snowflakes thought that was cool it doesn't take very long and um, it will give the tags a little bit of something extra and uh, I'm going to just now cut cut my strips for feeding into uh, my punch so you need to make sure that you've left enough gap between the two sort of wings or flippers or whatever and then 
I'm just going to punch that in, forgetting that you actually end up cut a bit of the, the foot out. So I actually have to do them individually. So I get a little bit of a post-it note there to um, put in and, and then we can punch. And this I could have, I've got a new scan and cut, which you may know. And um, so I could have scanned all these and cut them out really quickly in my scan and cuts. Uh, but not everybody's got a scan and cut. So, um, but if I was going to do this um, and make more, I may well do a whole sheet of penguins um, or snowmen. I've got the snowman one and cut them out as long as you've got a complete line with no breaks in it, it will cut them out. And as that's got a nice black um, outline all the way around, that would cut nicely. And I could cut it um, with a little white margin like you get with the punch, or I could cut it right up to the black line. But uh, for the purpose, because I've got the punch, which I bought before um, the scan and cut, then uh, that's the way I'm going. Um, I may have saved myself some money on this punch had I had the machine first, which is kind of one of the intentions that I thought to sort of make my money back on it is uh, I'll write down every time I've saved myself buying a stamp, uh, a punch or, or a die set. So now I'm just removing some of the bits of um, post-it note does get stuck to the penguin. So I'm just uh, taking those off. And um, and then I'm just going to, you could just glue it straight down onto your um, tag like so. Or you can make it a little bit extra special and add some dimensional. So I am going to just add just one little bit of dimension. I'm using the edges there and um, just one little bit to stick it on. So... Um, um, you know, even even doing that doesn't take too long. Just uh, slapping them all on the back there and putting them on. And you can see that some of the stampings of the greetings are exactly in the middle. Uh, I could have cut um, my tags, my two-inch strips first, and then I would have known they were exactly in the middle. Some are better than others, but um, I... Uh, I'm not too fussy. They're going on the front of a present. I don't think anybody's going to have a ruler out, are they? And go, mm, she didn't do that very well. Um, so they're just to uh, add to a Christmas present. And uh, needed them fairly quickly. So there we go. And, um, and then I'm just going to just add some ribbon to one for you rather than do it to them all. So you can see some different sort of possibilities. And although I've used pumpkin pie... Um, on those uh, penguins, uh, on the snowflakes, I'm going to use um, pale papaya. I think that will go nice. So I've got the um, sheer ribbon there that you could just cut off and just do that. And I've got the, the thicker one. And I really think it looks nice when you have a little bit of thick ribbon around it. I was just checking how long I cut it there. And I've um, got to get my sharp scissors. And and then just tie a little knot with the shear. I think that makes it look really, really pretty. So, um, yeah. So I'll probably finish off all those tags um, afterwards. And um, there we go. That's my quick little Christmas tags. So hope you like them. Hope you give them a go. And I'll see you again soon.